And Thursday, we found out that the U.S. weekly jobless claims totaled 3.1 million, bringing the seven-week tally to 33.5 million. Canada's IVPMI fell to 22.8 in April. The U.K. house prices fell minus 0.6% in April as the coronavirus restrictions took hold. Oil jumped on China export bounce, but long-term outlook remains weak. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Friday, we'll be eyeing Canada's and the U.S. unemployment rate as well as the U.S. non-farm payrolls. Today, I'm looking at the dollar cad pair, which has just broken below the daily HMO cloud, but continues within a range between 1.41 and 1.38, which are the 38% and the 61% Fibonacci retracement levels, respectively. With that, the current bearish sentiment could be supported at 1.38 again unless a new trend can be defined. And with that, traders with high risk tolerance could consider longing the pair at 138 and take profit at 141. Do you think 138 will act as a support level again? Or do you think dollar cat pair will drop further this time? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week. 